too late! Yes, it is. Hey, wouldn't that be cool in I've worked on Invincible projects before, but they turned out... <laughs> I want to recreate just a short bit of the Omni-Man vs. Invincible fight. Not the meme bit because the joke is overdone. <laughs> Luckily, I already made an Invincible model for my good dear old friend Jiffy. You may know him from his TikTok where he makes some banger VFX videos. Oh my god! Oh my god! He's coming to Fortnite! He also... worked with that one YouTuber who's getting cancelled right now. Jiffy's not like him. Anyways... Now we need a city for the two guys to fight in. Luckily, Cinematic Cookie made an incredible blender add-on for procedural cities. Link for it is in the description. Thank you, Cinematic Cookie. Now that I've gathered all the assets, it's time for... This is the first time I've animated faces, and I think it turned out pretty alright. During the fight itself, I made sure to study and look at as much invincible art as I could. And by that I mean I made a single Google search and I looked at Man of Steel. But I did actually bring some poses from the comics and cover art to bring to the scene. <laughs> now it's time to simulate Invincible's hair, Omni-Man's cape, and add the environment. That shouldn't take too long. Here's the first test render, and wow does it look bad. Camera was glitching out, so the motion blur is going kinda crazy, and the simulations are bad because Invincible and Omni-Man are moving at 5 billion light years a second and Blender's struggling to keep up with them. So the solution is, instead of move the characters, we move the environment around them. Therefore, it still looks like they're traveling around at the speed of sound, while also making it easier for Blender to calculate the simulations instead of... <laughs> Final render is done, and now it's time to put everything together and combine... Call the grading, building shattering stocks with your stacks, footage gaming because I was too lazy to rendering shot because I know something wrong and paid the elf and I'm happy waiting for it here, BOOM! Normally, I would go to my lovely friend Trey Gonzalez for sound design, but I did also just harass him for about 3 years to work on sound and music for my Spider-Man fan film that just came out. So I'm gonna try and do this by myself before he considers sending a pipe bomb to my house. I didn't know that Pixabay had sound effects. Their name is Pixabay. I thought it was just pictures, but it turns out they're pretty good sound effects resource. So after cobbling some sound together and taking the score from the Invincible show by John Faisano, here's the final product. Don't do this! It's not too late! Yes, it is. 